Today, I'm on the campus of Stockton University in Galloway Township, New Jersey to photograph some Special Olympics floor hockey. So how did I end up here today volunteering to shoot some photos for the Special Olympics? Well, a little while ago when I started my six degree project, the first person that I photographed was Steve Weatherford. Now we went down the shore to Atlantic City to do a polar plunge and it so happened to be a Special Olympics event. And one of the coordinators uh, with the press and the media for Special Olympics saw the photos I did of Steve, sent me an email to see if they could use those images, which absolutely they can use them, and then they asked if I'd like to come out and volunteer to do some photos. So that's exactly what I did. They sent me a schedule. They said, we've got this coming up in New Jersey. And I said, hell, I'll be there. I want to get out and photograph and give back and see what it's like to come out here and, and watch all these guys and girls running around, having a great time, competing for gold, for silver, for bronze. Uh, it, it's, it's a pretty amazing atmosphere to come out here and see everybody participating. You've got the parents, you've got brothers, sisters, families, all the families here. You even have the police department Department that comes out to help uh, give the golds, the silvers, and the bronze to the participants who played. So I'm sure some of you guys want to know what I'm shooting with. I brought out the D5 uh, with the Hebrew Trinity as well as the 6D Mark II and the 16-35 to 35, uh, version 3, which is what I'm filming the vlog with here. I also was able to borrow some Canon lenses from a reader who was out here volunteering as well to take photos. He let me borrow some of his glass so I could shoot some other video that you're seeing cut into this vlog. Now, with shooting, the lighting isn't that great. The lighting's not good at, well, pretty much it's not good at all, but that's not what it's about. I set it to about 5,000 ISO. That's giving me about 1 500th of a second at 2.8, and it's perfectly fine for what I need to capture. Now, what's interesting is it's not easy to get great shots out here because the players are all clumped together. They're also wearing helmets. They're looking down a lot. But I also had an opportunity to go out on the floor before the game started for warm-ups to get closer, to get some cool action shots. And even during the game, I think I was able to get some really good shots as well that should help the Special Olympics out. They can use whatever they want. I don't care how they use them. This is all for them, and it's about giving back and coming out here and seeing everybody have such a great time out here at this floor hockey event. What I will say is that the participants are having a blast. They're all smiling, having a lot of fun, playing really hard, competing hard, but at the end of the day, they're out here having fun, high-fiving each other, high-fiving me. You don't know how many fist bumps I've been able to give today and been high-fived when every kid or, or teenager or adult has walked by, they're like, hey, Hi, how are you? What are you doing? It's great. It's just, it just feels really good to come out here and watch everybody have such a great time. And it also feels good for me to come out here and give back, to, to take some great photos, to use what I have as my capability, to take photos, give them back so that these kids and these parents have amazing shots of their kids and that the Special Olympics get some great photos that they can share to help promote their event and help raise awareness for their cause because this is an amazing organization. And this is the first time I've come out to photograph for them. I and mean, to be honest with you, they told me I was coming out to a basketball arena. I thought I was going to be shooting basketball, and it turned out it was floor hockey, but that's not a big deal. I wanted to get in with the Special Olympics at some point to photograph. This is a tremendous organization that's been around. I believe they just celebrated their 50th anniversary or something like that. I saw something that said 50th anniversary. And this is, this is, a, this is great. If you've never been a part of this, you should go volunteer if you can, especially as a photographer. There's gotta be chapters in every state, even around the world too, that you could go out there and photograph, get access that you need to the sidelines or to whatever it is that you need to do, and you can go out and shoot these images. It, it's great, it's great practice. You get to give back, it feels great. The smiles are well worth it because these kids are super happy to be out here playing. So that's something I recommend that you do. One of the coolest things I saw today was before one of the games started, 
One of the officials was high-fiving a bunch of the new players coming onto the floor, giving them hugs, talking to them, encouraging them. And that's what's cool about Special Olympics. I bet you that these officials officiate multiple different events and different sports and volunteer their time and see the same kids week after week or tournament after tournament. So there's some camaraderie there and it's really great to see that they're out here to help out. And with that being said, I think that youth sports, parents and athletes and coaches should come out to a Special Olympics event to see how you treat officials, to see how everybody treats everybody here. They're not yelling at the officials, the coaches aren't yelling at them, and the fans aren't yelling at them. The players certainly aren't yelling at them either because they're out here having fun. So I really think that youth sports, parents, players, and coaches could learn a lot by coming out and volunteering at the Special Olympics to see how you actually treat the officials. You treat them with respect, and you get respect back. So I wanna give big thanks to the Special Olympics for reaching out to me to come out here and photograph. I will continue to do this whenever they have events. I wanna go out there, I wanna photograph, and it's a great opportunity for you guys to go out there and photograph and create and volunteer and give back and feel good as well. They've got chapters in all 50 states as well as international, so if you wanna get out and shoot and you're not doing anything, and you, or you just wanna become a better photographer because you're a beginner, I don't care if you're a beginner, intermediate, or a professional, you can come out here and volunteer. Just go to their website, look for information in your state or in your country, and give back and have fun. So that's it for me from here in Stockton University on the Galloway, New Jersey. I'm gonna head home and take a look at some of the images and share how they turned out with you. Right now I have all the Keeper images exporting from Lightroom so that I can send them over to the people at the Special Olympics to use however they see fit. They also let me know that they upload them so that the families and the participants can download them and enjoy them. So it means a lot to me that the images that I went out and created are going to make people smile, to give them great images that they may never have had of themselves before. For me to be able to go and do that really means a lot. So I wanna thank the Special Olympics for having me out there today to do this. I think that it was difficult at first, but at the end of the day, I was able to capture some really cool action shots of the players going up and down the floor, some great shots of the goalies, some cool shots of uh, the players celebrating and getting their medals and interacting with the cops and the people that are there. And that's what it's about. And my goal with this vlog was to go out there and shoot some cool photos, then create some cool video so that it would fit in as B-roll for this vlog and, as, and, and really to just give back. So at the end of the day, guys, I feel great that I was able to go donate some time and my expertise to create these images that hopefully bring some joy to people, and, and that's it. So to check out some of the past vlogs, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Leave some comments down below if you do volunteer your time somewhere. I'd love to hear your stories, and that's where I'll leave it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.